So, John, it's the big dinner. Yes. On March the 7th. Uh -huh. We want as many people as possible to have dinner parties to help with a brilliant cause. Of course. Such a great cause. Uh, you know that I pretend that I can cook, <laughs> but I can't. If I'm having a dinner party, some tips, some rules, yeah. hell, okay. what can I do? First of all, anyone can cook, everyone can cook, it's so easy. Okay. For a dinner party, just yes. prepare as much as you can in advance. Right. Do a pudding that you can put in during the main, so like a sticky toffee pudding or something really easy. Right. Put it in while the people are having the main course. Okay. Start to do a cold starter, you can make that the day before and serve that cold. Good idea. And then for your main, just get a really easy something like a lasagna, something nice and simple but tasty. Because, right. you know, people when they're at a dinner party, they just want food that tastes good, not faffy food. No, I don't so, want fa faffiness is no, not good. So no, it would be all right to maybe even just put a great big thing of lasagna right in the middle oh. of the table and then everybody can dive in. That's, yeah. And then maybe lots of wine. Uh, that's the way to do it. You get think? them, get them, yeah. Get a little them, bit sozzled. A bit sozzled and they won't even know. Exactly. You'll be fine. Do you think I'll be all right? Yeah, of course you will. Okay, and it's all about forward planning. Forward planning. Forward planning Excellent. and wine. OK. Well, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. John, good thank you. you. Thank good you. That's you. absolutely brilliant. I've made detailed notes. <laughs> brilliant. Thank you.